This video is about using the second I2C port, that's I2C port 0 on the Raspberry Pi. The 40-pin uh, GPIO header on a Raspberry Pi computer has got two I2C ports, and the one that's most commonly used is I2C port 1, which uh, is basically in this corner here, or these pins here, and this shows the pinout. So we have um, clock and data, and conveniently we have right next to that 3.3 volt power and ground. And so I always just make a little uh, five pin header like this. And one of the pins is unused, that's a GPIO 4 because I don't need that. And that just plugs straight into this corner of the PCB and that way I can just uh, connect to uh, whatever profile I've got on here. In this case, on the end of my long piece of wire, I've got a uh, BMP 280 temperature and barometric pressure sensor. Now you can hook up multiple devices on an I2C port, but they each need to have a unique address, and the address is kind of permanently part of the chip. But a uh, BMP280 temperature pressure sensor can have one of two addresses, and uh, these little boards, they've got some pads on the back here where you can scratch off a trace and connect between the other two pads to put it on a different address, which means you can have two of these sensors on the same bus, but uh, I want to use four of these, and this is where I've got a different arrangement. So I made this little board that plugs into the 40-pin header, and it takes I2C port 1 and brings it out to actually two headers in parallel, so that I can uh, plug two things in there, and it takes the other port, rearranges the pins, and brings it out to two headers as well. What's needed to use that port is two separate pull-up resistors. Those are two K-ohm pull-up resistors right here because I2C port 0, that's the other port, doesn't have those built in. There's also a slight configuration change needed to use that port. So in the configuration file slash boot slash config.txt we need to add this line here, dtparm equals I2C underscore VC equals on and reboot the Pi. The other thing we have to make sure is that the camera module is not enabled. And the wiring for this board that I've got that brings out these headers is essentially this. Um, so for the header for uh, I2C1, I just uh, bring that out. And the other one here is the rearrangement of wires with the two pull-up resistors that uh, pull these two lines up. And I bring the ground up here and uh, three volts from the other port. And I have a uh, BMP280 sensor plugged into each one of these two headers one of which is a modified board, so it appears on address 77 instead of 76. And on the other one, I've just got one plugged in because this harness has got just uh, two of those sensors wired in parallel. Again, one of them modified to be on address 77. So these two are on I2C port 1, the regular port, and this is on I2C port 0, the one that's less commonly used. So just to demonstrate what I've got here, I've got this little Python script that uh, shows the temperatures and pressures initially and then graphs these with an ASCII graph as a function of time and even though they're not terribly accurate they can be a degree off easily they're super precise and responsive so between here and here is one degree each character position represents one fortieth of a degree celsius so if i just touch these temperature sensors briefly that already causes quite a noticeable response on the temperature graph So I quite like using these uh, BMA280 and BMP280 sensors because they're very responsive to changes in temperature or pressure and I've got the data right in the computer. The experiment I actually want to do involves actually pressures from uh, stuff like that, but uh, that's much harder to demonstrate so I just have them set up to read temperatures at the moment.